Hey guys, we are at Fort William Historic Park and we're traveling back to 1815 to the time of the fur trade. We're gonna explore, let's go. Time travel. Go. Woo! Fur trade, no. you know, you see, we have forests without uh, indigenous people. Well, there is no fur trade. Not only are they the ones who are, well, trading all of the fur into the company, without their help, we Europeans really wouldn't survive out here. Yes. <laughs> Look at this, we have a fire. Right here in this very spot, the world's largest fur trading enterprise took place. This is where cultures meet and relationships are forged between the indigenous peoples of the Anishinaabe and the European newcomers. Here, we meet some local indigenous people and see how they lived with a day in the life of the fur traders and fur trappers. We get a peek at their typical shelter, traditions, and customs, and how they utilize the environment for survival. Here we're at today. <laughs> yes, I'm just, yes, I'm just showing my friends around here, of course. So here's just, uh, uh, Can you dig in? Welcome. Uh, Thank you. Yours doing some chores around here, uh, mm. keeping ourselves busy uh, for the most part. Mm. I'm chopping wood and just ensuring that this flame does not go out, mm. um, especially with, we're not sure we might get rain today. Mm. It's a very <laughs> interesting morning. Yeah. Um, but as a, a fire keeper, like kind of my job is to ensure that I have the wood, I have the right type of flames going, so I need to know what I would be doing outside, what type of mm. wood I'd be burning out here versus inside the home, mm. as well as the types of wood. So like the one we were cooking as well, I'd have to have that type of flame going and just be mindful. So it's just something wow. that like, it's a chore, but it's, um, it's wow. a really big duty and it's an honor to have oh. that. This is a riveting part of American history that involves survival in the uncharted frontier. You may have seen a movie involving a bear. No, not that one, but this one. Called The Revenant. And this is a glimpse of what it's like on the ground. Water roots. And you get a look inside Fort William. The Fort William, it's the largest fur trade post, of course, of the Northwest Company. Most posts are only two, maybe three buildings, but because this is the main inland headquarters, because it's the site of the rendezvous, where we have so many people coming through, it does need to be quite a bit larger. Suddenly, everyone at Fort William breaks out in song to gear up for a rendezvous, or a large meeting held in the wilderness for trading fur and other goods. We're greeted by a cannon. We enter the fur warehouse where the furs are stored before they're exported on the long and arduous trek to Europe. The trading routes were mostly done on foot or a canoe through wild and unforgiving territory. These furs, specifically beaver furs, were a status symbol and represented wealth and prestige in Europe and usually turned into top hats, which were in fashion at the time. The increased demand for these furs led to the exploration of British North America. The most magnificent building at Fort William is the Great Hall, which served as a dining room and lodge for the company's partners, clerks, guides, and interpreters. And yes, that is a polar bear fur on the ground. We highly recommend checking out this enlightening and educational wow. tour. Link in the description below. So our guide was named Mr. Tate, and they actually dress in the fashion of 1812 and reenact the entire settlement here, which was really interesting. I learned so much more than I ever have before on the fur trade. 